Hello everyone, thanks for watching. Today we're going to be reviewing the Trango Junior full body climbing harness. So before we get into the specific features of the Trango Junior, why do kids need a full body climbing harness in the first place? And the simple answer is because, well, kids are top heavy. In 1969, the Federal Aviation Administration did a study trying to find where are people's centers of gravity as they age. They were trying to figure out when is it okay to take kids out of safety seats and put them into a regular adult seat with just a lap belt when they're flying. And what they found was people's centers of gravity stay pretty much five inches above the bottom of their groin. Now that's not a lot of distance on a full adult, but on a little kid, five inches can go easily up to mid chest. And that's where the full body climbing harness comes in. The chest clip point, rather than being near the waist like it is on an adult harness, is way up on the chest. And in order for there to be a connection point there, you have to have shoulder straps. And why is that important for climbing? Why does it matter if a kid is top heavy? Because when you fall, you don't want to fall over backwards. Not only can you hit your head on the rock if you fall over backwards, it does also bring in the possibility that you could slip out of your harness. So not only do you have shoulder straps to keep you from slipping out of a harness if you tip over backwards, you also have a higher connection point to keep you from tipping over backwards in the first place. Now while that higher connection point is excellent for helping you fall correctly, it does make descending a little bit harder. As your kid reaches the top of your top rope anchor and you start to lower them down, it's simply harder to lean your chest all the way back than it is to stick your butt out and lean your waist all the way back in order to weight that rope and allow the rope and the system to do the work as the kid is lowering. We found that to be difficult when the kids were particularly light to overcome that friction in the system by leaning back, but as they've gotten a little bit older, as they put on a little bit more weight, that problem has gone away and they really descend quite easily in this harness, even with the higher attachment point. So when my wife and I were originally looking for climbing harnesses for the boys, we were primarily interested in three features, although we're going to talk about more than three features today. The three we were looking for at the time was, first, how small can we make the harness? My wife is small. I am small. Our kids are small. They are also premature, which makes them even small for all of the small genetics that they have going for them in the first place. So we needed a harness that could really shrink down. And at the time, this is the only harness we could find that was safety rated down to kids at 25 pounds. And that has a lot to do with the fact that you have fully adjustable legs. And so we are looking for a harness that has fully adjustable legs. And that usually leads you to these webbing type harnesses. Rather than a lot of padding, it's a lot of strapping so that you can adjust those legs through straps as well. Now, we also wanted padded legs. We knew our kids were going to be hanging in the harness. They were just learning. And you really don't want a thin strap cutting into the back of your legs as you're hanging in your harness trying to figure out what to do. And so finding an adjustable leg strap that also was a padded leg strap was important to us. And at the time that we made this purchase, this was the only harness we could find that had adjustable legs and padded legs. The shoulder straps come from the front, wrap over the shoulder, through the buckle, which is on the back of the shoulder, and through this very thin plastic back plate. Now that system has a number of features that are beneficial. Now because you can wrap the straps back through the back plate, they stay out of your way, out of your knots, which increases your safety. Because the buckles are behind the shoulder rather than in front, it keeps kids from fidgeting with the buckles, which obviously could become a safety issue if they could accidentally unstrap the buckles. And then the low profile of the buckles and the back plate allow our kids to wear packs and the harness at the same time. Now why would that be important? It's not really important for climbing, but on the descent, some climbing areas have really difficult descents for little kids, and we've taken this sometimes short roping the kids down so that if they do slip on poor footing, they're not going to go for a long ride, they're just going to fall on their butts. And that means they have to have their harness on with their backpack. So having a low profile in back allows them to wear that pack comfortably while we're doing the walks out of some of the climbing crags that we've been visiting. Now the buckles themselves are the old style double back buckles where you have to lace the strap through then back over and through again in order to lock the strap in place and make it secure. 
most modern buckles now don't require double backing. Now that is potentially a safety issue because it is an extra step. And anytime there's an extra step, you have an extra chance for a mistake. So you do have to make sure that a, you're using the straps appropriately in that double back method, but also that every time your kid climbs, you're checking four points of double back and making sure that all of them are secured the way they should be. Once the buckles are secured, they do not move, and it makes it easy for the kids to put on the harness themselves. There isn't a lot of play in these types of buckles. There's not any slide in these types of buckles, so the sizing isn't adjusting when they're getting it on or off, which allows them to get it on or off, and for mom and dad to feel confident that they are getting in a harness that still fits them properly, and we're not having to adjust it every time they take it off and every time they take it on, which saves us time and worry. Now some full body harnesses have a single hard point, the point where you tie the rope through the harness as you see here, but the Trango Junior has these two separate hard points. Now again, that could be an extra step. You now have to lace your rope through both hard points in order for it to be secure. I actually in this case like the ability to easily visually check that I have got this tied on correctly because I do have to run through both of those hard points and I would have an open chest and a very obvious way to check that we haven't tied that knot correctly uh, through the hard points. Now, of course, we still have to check the knot itself, but being able to visualize that we're attached to the harness correctly is very easy to do with the two separate hard points. Now, one of the limitations of this harness is that it does not have gear loops off the hip. Why might you want gear loops? Well, eventually your kids might be doing seconding. And for those of you who don't know what seconding is, that would be if a lead climber goes up placing gear like a lead climber would, and then the second, the person following them, as they climb up now off of top rope, are gonna be pulling that gear out. As they pull that gear out, they need to clip it to their harness. If there's no place to clip it to their harness, how are you supposed to carry all that gear and climb at the same time? So it does create a limitation with this harness in terms of the technical skills that your kid can learn while using it. So all in all, the Trango Junior is an excellent harness for people who are starting out their kids very young or who have small kids because it can adjust down so small. And a lot of that, again, is due to the fact that the leg loops are adjustable themselves. Now, if you're trying to get your kid into more serious technical climbing and teaching them to second and follow, you're gonna find that that lack of a gear loop is a shortcoming. And so there is a limitation in this harness as your child progresses into more traditional styles of rock climbing. And lastly, is there anything else you'd like to say about the harness, things that you like about it, well, don't like I, about it? I like the color. The red and orange and yellow design is pretty awesome. Yeah, you guys like it's sort of fire color themes, huh? Yeah. And you guys like fire because it makes you feel fast? Yeah. yeah. And it just look, kind of looks cool if you look at drawing pictures of it. That's true. So. The harness will grow with you, the harness is in cool colors, the harness keeps you safe, it's comfortable, you can wear your pack with it. Anything else you want to say? Not really. So that's a review of the Tringo Junior Full Body Climbing Harness. What climbing harnesses have you and your family used? We'd love to see those in the comments below. Maybe some pros and cons, because we could all learn from each other. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. And if you want to be alerted every time Short Guys Betaworks produces a new video, you can subscribe and ring that bell. We'd also love to see comments around content you would like to see, because we want to produce the content that helps you get more out of that big outside.